do you know your body type? Bigger on top, inverted triangle. Bigger on the bottom, triangle. Bigger in the middle, circle, apple, proportion, proportional <laughs> hourglass. And we have the no curves, which is more like the athletic build, rectangle. So if you ever heard those terms, then you've heard of body types. And this is for the woman's body type. I have it. If you know me, I'm Latoya Pope Robinson. I'm a personal stylist. Um, Closet Invite is my company. I'm a certified image consultant. And I am very focused much on the woman. Now I'm going to start working with some men, and I might get into men's body type, but that will be down the line. Right now we're talking about the women. We're talking about our body type. Why am I doing this video? Because I've been asked so many times on do you educate about the body type when I'm working with my clients? Um, can you tell me my body type? Can you tell me how to style my body type? So that's what we're doing. And yes, when I do... Um, have when you do um, become one of my clients, I give you a whole body type style guide, and I actually do have a free body type guide as well. But this is going to go a little bit more in depth for you. So, for this video and for the videos following, I'm going to do five videos because there's five body types. So, when I do these five videos, I'm going to go into each body type and give you a little bit of tips on how to style those body types, right? This video right here may be a little bit longer than the rest because I'm going to tell you how to find out and figure out what your body type is as well as the first body type i'm gonna go into and then the videos remaining will go into the other four body types so make sure that you are subscribed you like comment and you hit that notification bell so you know when the videos come out and you can see it pop up so if i don't tell you your body type today you're going to know the body type. It's going to come in the next couple of weeks. It's going to come in the next couple of videos. Whenever I drop them, you will see them come out and you're like, okay, this is this how I style my body type. Okay? So make sure you are subscribed and you got that notification bell clicked. As well as if you like, this is not my body type. It might be a friend's body type. So just share. You don't got to say, girl, that is your body type. But you can just share it and be like, oh, watch these videos, girl. She's got, she got some tips. You know? You're going to be a little discreet with it. In case you have a friend who maybe is not styling her body right. Friend, family member, mom, cousin, daughter, whomever, yourself. <laughs> Let's get into it, okay? Let's get on into it. So first things first, and I'm going to look over into my notes because, yes, I've been doing this. I'm a certified image consultant, but I still go by um, my notes that I've taken over the years and things that I found out. I still reference to them. And so... I have them over here beside us. So first things first on how to measure our body type, right? And I have done videos before on showing you how to measure your body type. So you can always go back and look through. But, I, and I've shown you, like I have videos actually showing you going around my body, showing you how I um, measure my body. But if you don't feel like going through it right now, just showing you here, and I may um, link it to this one. Excuse me, but measuring this one here, get a soft measuring tape, right? These are real cheap, like on Amazon. Now, I might link that too. I'm going to put that down. I'm going to link. Oh, my God, link. I'm going to link my free body type guide for you all. i got to write myself a note <laughs> in the description. As, and if I if y'all see I don't put it in the description, put it in the comment. Be like, girl, what a free body type guide. It's in my other videos too in the description, but I'm going to put it in here. To link my free body type guide as well as try to link my video um, showing you all how I actually measure my body. So measure my body. But, all right. All right. I have to give myself a little nose shot. If I don't write it down, it ain't going to happen. Anyway, get you a soft measuring tape. And you can easily get these on Amazon. And I do have an Amazon storefront, so I mean, like that as well. But this is definitely probably a couple dollars. Maybe a dollar. I don't know. But just get you a soft measuring tape. So first things first is we're going to go around the bust area, which is the boobies, right? We're going to measure the bust. And if you just had recently your bra measured, then you may already know what your bust is, right? Then we're going to go around the waist. The waist is right here. And the, I'm over here showing y'all anyway. <laughs> right here in the middle, right? We're going around the waist. So bust, waist, and then the last part is we're going to go around the hips, which you may not be able to see right here, but the hips, we're going to go around the hips. So those are the three 
most important measurements. Now, there's other measurements we can go by as well, but those three measurements are the most important. Why? Because those are going to show us how our body is proportioned and give us an idea of what our body type is. Now, when I really get into the depths of it, is yes, your body type can be this, but you could have very broad shoulders like me. I have some broad shoulders. So then you have to balance your body off with your, your broad shoulders, no matter what your body type is, right? Or I could have really, um, give an example, really skinny ankles, or I could have cankles. Then we have to proportion our bodies a little bit differently on what we wear, right? So even though your body type is different, I'm going to give you some tips. You may have some one-off situations where, yeah, nobody is the same. <laughs> nobody, nobody, and nobody is the same, for real. So we can always alternate the way we style ourselves because we know. And, of course, with your comfortability of your body as well, right? All right. So when we have those three measurements, okay, when you have your three measurements, it's going to give you the actual um, the idea of what your body type is. So once again, when you go into the, the first one, your bust, that's the fullest part of your bust when you're measuring. Your waist is your smallest part is what you're going to be measuring. And then your hips is the fullest part. So fullest, smallest, fullest, okay? When we do those measurements, this is how we figure out what our actual uh, body type is so what the first one is we're going to say proportional right proportional which you may have heard of the hourglass with all body types we are pretty much trying to get to the hourglass look so the proportional is if your bust so your bust and your hip measurements are equal are very close so have you ever heard of the 36 24 36 like that coca-cola look that's the hourglass because she 36 24, she got that small waist, and 36, she goes out like the perfect hourglass. Don't feel bad if you're not a perfect hourglass, because most of us are not. <laughs> let's keep it, let's keep it about most of us are not. There's very few women who are that perfect hourglass, right? But with all body types, we're pretty much trying to get, because that is the feminine look, that is the, the female body look, because we want to show them curves. And we can do that. <laughs> We're pretty much, sorry about that, we're pretty much any body type. We pretty much just have to balance our body out, right? All right, so we know the first one is proportional, the hourglass, which means your bust and hips are pretty much equal, very close, and then your waist is smaller, okay? All right, for bigger on the bottom, which means you're a triangle, if you ever heard the triangles, because your top is more smaller, your bottom is bigger, which is more typically we'll say for like um let's say the black let's, let's keep it real for the black bodies for the black women the african women the, the latinas who are more full on the bottom um you can either say oh they're gonna be proportional because they got the the bust and the the bottom or some of our ladies who just they got more bottom so most of them are more of the triangle bigger on the bottom for our melanated women <laughs> and some of our um our Caucasian women too. Y'all got bodies as well. But typically when you say like, oh, I got that body, you know, she got that, she got that booty. Typically she bigger on the bottom. Then that means that she's a triangle. Okay. So if your hip measurements was the largest of the three pr primary measurements, so from the bust to waist, but your hip measurement is the biggest, then that means you're bigger on the bottom. That means that you're a triangle. Okay. If your bust measurement was the largest, your boobies, you top heavy. If you top heavy, you bigger on the top, right? Which may be called an inverted triangle. Sometimes if you got the broad shoulders, top heavy, and then your body, you're like, I don't got no booty, right? <laughs> I ain't got no booty. So if your bust measurement was the largest of the three primary measurements, this is you. You're bigger on the top, you're an inverted triangle. And that's okay. We can also have different looks, different styles to give you that hourglass look as an all women. We just got to learn how to dress our bodies. All right, let's keep going. If your waist or tummy measurement was the largest, then your body type is considered bigger in the middle, which you may have heard circle, or you could have heard it's an apple. So you're like, I'm more roundy, I'm more rounder, then that is your type. You're bigger in the middle. Which absolutely, we can still give you some curves. And we're going we're gonna to show you how. We're going to tell you how. 
Well, we, me. Okay. <laughs> if your, your bust, waist, and hip measurements are about the same, they're very close, then your body type would be considered, which some people say like the athletic build, the rectangle you may have heard, or you may have heard no curves. Like, I am just the same up and down. Like, you heard, ever heard, like, she is straight up and down. Like, that model look. That, yeah, just like the slanky, the lanky, tall model. She has no curves look. That is you, and we can also get you styled up so you can look like you got some curves. Just all depends on how we gonna style you, right? Right. <laughs> so today, I want to start with, today we're gonna start with proportional. We're going to start with the hourglass. So we're going to start with that feminine look, the look that everybody aims to have, right? We're going to start there, and then over the next few videos, I'm going to go with the other looks and kind of hone it back into how we can have this hourglass look on how we can style it, okay? So first thing first, let me see. And also other measurements that we can do, but it doesn't... It doesn't really matter. Those three looks are, or those, three looks, those three measurements are really going to give you your measurements, right? But other measurements you can take just on your own as well is your shoulders to see how broad you are on your shoulders. Um, so some people are like, um, I'm, you know, they may have these measurements equal, but then their shoulders are very broad. I have very broad shoulders, okay? But that's just another way of being able to style it. If you know that, then you may want to stay away from shoulder pads or you may want to proportion your body so you're not just looking brought up here and it's skinny on the bottom. Okay? But we'll get there. Uh, you can also uh, measure your arms here because sometimes, depending on, uh, depending on the shirt, you know, if you've got a pretty, you know, nice size arm or smaller arm, then that may be another way that we can you know, style you a little differently depending on your arm, your arm size. And of course, um, if you want to do the, t the tummy area as well, not just your waist, but your tummy area, the size that area as well as upper thigh. Those are other measurements you can also measure for styling purposes. But just for today, for us to go over the body types, it is not that important. So let's go ahead and get into the proportional look, right? That hourglass. The hourglass. Let's get into the hourglass. All right, so for the proportional look, the hourglass. I'm just going to. All right, some of the best things for you to wear, right? And I may pop some up in the video. If <laughs> not, they're not there, and I'm just pointing. Um, knits wearing knit tops wearing knit um, dresses knit bottoms because you're curvy right your body is curvy you have the curves we want to show them now you may say like i don't want to show too much of my curves i don't want to be i'm very conservative which is absolutely fine but if you wear very baggy clothes it is not going to look right on you because of your curves and you have those curves. You want to show your femininity, right? You want to show that you're feminine. You want to show that you not just showing off your body. You don't have to wear along, you know, too much cleavage or too much butt out, but you want to make sure that your items are more fitted to you because that is going to really show your body, show your body, show your curves, but also show that you're feminine. It's going to look good on you. It's going to make sure that you are accent. And one way to do that, if you are more conservative, say is like having tie waist, tie waist dresses, tie waist coats, that will show. So if you say, I don't like to show too much of my body, I want to be more covered up to do that and still show your curves is to have more of a tie waist to do that and say like, I have a blazer but you have a belted blazer or put a belt around the waist because you have that body that you can bring it in more. For you and your body type, you can wear uh, the things that people, you know, since you have such a curvy body, you can wear um, still the skinny jeans. You know, you still can because you are more curvy. And I know skinny jeans have been in and out, so that's always up for debate. So our straight legs or however you want to say it, but since you're so curvy 
those things are forever going to, those items are going to forever look good on you. Now, can you update it and look, make it more modern and not just like still look more of the early 2000s? Well, of course, but with your body type, you're going to want to make sure that you are showing the curves. So you're going to want to have garments that are going to follow your curve line. Like if you ever seen garments that already have like the curve indented in it, or have like a blazer that already has the curves going in it, or say you have a jumpsuit and the top is, and then the, it's already curvy in it, have garments that are already going to follow that line because your body is already there. Those items are going to look great on you. You can rock those <laughs> and look amazing, right? Also, a proportionate body with the hourglass, you pretty much can wear almost anything. <laughs> you can pretty much almost wear anything because they make clothing for you. Now, once again, I'm saying like if you're wearing too much oversized, unless that's your look, but if you're wearing too, much, too many things that are just oversized, it's just going to really look really droopy on you because you have a really feminine curvy body. Now, one thing that you can do is where you can seek tops and blouses that have like a little extra up that draws the eye up. So say, um, you know, the tops that have like maybe um, the blouses that have like the long string coming out of it or have a tie or have um, just the blouses that have a little bit more going with it. Of course, make sure the bottom is accentuated, but you can do that because you have the proportionate body. Um, another thing, like I said, I've already said, your belts, you definitely can wear belts with everything staying like around your waist to pull it in because you have the curvy body naturally. So it's just going to automatically look amazing on you. Um, like I said, the wrap dresses and the belts, um, just those are like your really like your best friend. Wrap dresses, I will say this for all body types, they pretty much look good on almost any body type. You know, that is kind of like any body type can wear wrap dress about but for the proportionate body type since your body already goes that way they freaking look amazing on you that's why going back to like the knit the knit looks making sure that you have a knit look and say for example uh for my conservative ladies you have a knit look and it is very curvy you're like girl i got too much body i'm not trying to show too much then of course if you want to wear like one of the longer cardigans or dusters over it you can do that but we can still see that you have curves and it's still going to look absolutely amazing on you so for my proportionate ladies like you pretty much you're very lucky we're all trying to get there we're all trying to make have our body Look as amazing as yours. Now, when we get into more of, okay, I have a proportional body, but I have a very high um, bra shoulder, or I have a very skinny ankle, I will get into those into my later videos and kind of how we can style that if you're, you know, if your body is, you have, we have different, you know, different reasons of, okay, I can wear this, but I don't like to wear this because I don't like this on my body. And we all have that. <laughs> Each and every one of us has that. But I hope that does help for my fortunate ladies. We're all trying to get there. We're all trying to have that hourglass look, right? We, we, you are the ideal look of your body. So I hope that helps you know what your body type is, how to dress it. And if you want any more tips, I'm going to give you the free body type style guide in the description. If you ever have any questions, you can always email me closetinvite at gmail.com. My website is www.closetinvite.com. But for everybody else who is not the perfect hourglass, baby, hold on. We're going we to definitely talk about it in the next videos, right? We got the inverted triangle, big on the top for my bigger on top ladies. Uh, we got the big on the bottom for my, for my, for my, for my booties. For everybody who got the big booties, we got for my curvy ladies. Like, okay, I'm just like, I am a circle. I got a round belly. I, yeah, we're going we gonna, to we gonna talk about it too. And we're going to make sure that you show up looking amazing no matter what. And for my other ladies, like I'm straight up and down. They always call me olive oil. We got you. We got you. Make sure that you have subscribed, click the notification bell, and we're going to go ahead and make sure that we are going to all look amazing. So here we are. I will see y'all in the next upcoming videos. Talk to y'all soon.